Hey everyone, Pastor Tim here from West Shore. Welcome to our daily devotion and prayer time. We are continuing in the final chapter of the book of Hebrews. And today we come to one of those verses that is um, at the top of mostly everyone's list when it comes to verses that have been memorized. And that is Hebrews 13, verse 8. A very simple verse, and yet it uh, is powerful. It changes hearts, it changes minds, it changes lives. And it's really what this passage today is all about. Hebrews chapter 13, verse 8 says this. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Verse 9. So don't do not be attracted by your strange by strange new ideas. Your strength comes from God's grace, not from rules about food which don't help those who follow them. We have an altar from which the priests in the tabernacle have no right to eat. Under the old system, the high priest brought the blood of animals into the holy place as a sacrifice for sin, and the bodies of animals were burned outside the camp. So also Jesus suffered and died outside the city gates to make his people holy by means of his own blood. So let us go out to him outside the camp and bear the disgrace he bore. For this world is not our permanent home. We are looking forward to a home yet to come. Therefore, let us offer through Jesus a continual sacrifice of praise to God, proclaiming our allegiance to his name. And don't forget to do good and share with those in need. These are the sacrifices that please God. Obey your spiritual leaders and do what they say. Their work is to watch over your souls and they are accountable to God. Give them reason to do this with joy and not with sorrow that you that would certainly not be for your benefit. So verse eight starts off and tells us what this passage is all about. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Simply put, it's all about Jesus. It's all about Jesus. Um, and the author wants us to know that if we are going to live effective lives for God, it has to be about one thing, Jesus Christ and him crucified. He goes through these things and talks about how, how the old covenant was, and now it's all about Jesus. He talks about how sacrifices were. And now it's all about Jesus. He talks about the things that we should do and, and how under the old covenant, those were just things that we did in an attempt to be where we need to be. But today we do them. Why? Because of Jesus. Because of the sacrifice he made for us because of his incredible love for each and every one of us. That is all the motivation that we need to live our lives for him. Verse 15, he says, let us offer through Jesus a continual sacrifice of praise to God, proclaiming our allegiance to his name. So what happens here is that we understand and once we understand that Jesus is our complete sacrifice that he took our place on the cross then we in turn because of that sacrifice that Jesus made we in turn then offer our lives as a complete sacrifice to him Paul addresses this and alludes to it in Romans chapter 12, verses 1 and 2, where he tells us to present our bodies as a living sacrifice to God. You see, here's, here's the deal, 
and and it just goes right back to verse eight, Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever. God gave his all in the form of Jesus. And in return, he wants us as followers of Christ to give him our all, to understand that every part of our being, every part of who we are and what we do should be focused around one thing, the gospel of Jesus Christ. May that be our challenge today. Excuse me. May that be our challenge today. Let's pray. Thank you, Jesus, that you are the same yesterday, today, and forever. You never change and that everything in our lives can be based completely and solely on you. Let us maintain that. Let us live our lives like that. Let us strive to be what you have called us to be, a living sacrifice for you because of the sacrifice you made for us. And we'll thank you and give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I trust you'll have a terrific Thursday. Until next time, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace. And may you fall just a little bit deeper in love with Jesus today. Take care. God bless you.